We've started investing a little bit in robotics companies. I think on the physical hardware side, there's finally, for the first time that I've ever seen, really exciting new platforms being built there. And at some point, we will be able to use our models, as you were saying, with their language understanding and future video understanding to say, all right, like, let's do amazing things with a, with a robot. In a recent interview with Bill Gates, Sam Altman mentioned that we, meaning OpenAI, were starting to invest in robotic companies. That interview coincided with this article from VentureBeat. 1X, a robotic startup backed by OpenAI, receives 100 million in funding. Now, 1X has made headlines before with its Eve robot. The wheeled enterprise-centric robot has already been deployed with multiple organizations for industrial tasks such as moving equipment, opening doors, fulfilling orders, etc. But OpenAI's investment allowed the 1X company to create the next big thing. Norway, March 23, 2023. 1X, previously named Lottie Robotics, a manufacturer and inventor of Androids, announced today the successful close of its Series A2 funding round, raising $23.5 million. This round was led by the OpenAI Startup Fund, with participation from Tiger Global, a big investment player in the tech space, and a consortium of Norway-based investors. 1X is at the forefront of augmenting labor through the use of safe, advanced technologies in robotics, said Brad Lightcap. Chief Operations Officer and Manager of the OpenAI Startup Fund. The OpenAI Startup Fund believes in the approach and impact that 1X can have on the future of work. Here's a blog post that 1X posted on December 15, 2023. Discover the studio where 1X androids train for smart behavior. At the studio in Moss, Norway, our androids train for practical tasks, generating use and industry-specific behavior using embodied learning. 1X method for data collection diverges from traditional coding and predetermined algorithms. Using VR Teleop, 1X operators guide the androids through diverse real-world scenarios, offering an intuitive understanding of the task's difficulty and feasibility. When data is collected at scale, the android has learned a new skill. It's less about set algorithms and more about practical learning for navigating the world that was built to fit you and me, or the average human shape. As you'll see in Sam Altman's clip later, this new approach may be exactly the thing that was needed to create a breakthrough in robotics. Back to our article in VentureBeat, the company is also developing Neo, a bipedal humanoid targeted towards consumer markets. That's the name you want to remember, Neo. It's been designed for everyday home assistants, offering support for domestic tasks like cleaning, organizing, or running errands. Notably, while both robots operate autonomously by default, 1X is still holding on to the option of controlling them remotely, just in case they can't handle a particular task, run into a dangerous zone, or go full kamikaze. On that dark note, this is Neo. Meet Neo. Safe, balanced, and smart, Neo is your intelligent Android assistant. Coming soon. Neo embodies artificial learning. 1X combines human-like bodies with the minds of advanced language and autonomous movement models. So you can talk to them naturally and they can do what you ask. Neo's vision and movement can be taken over by a remote human operator if you need support, just like the EVE robot. And the body is engineered with muscle-like anatomy instead of rigid hydraulics. Neo can walk, jog, climb stairs and navigate your space naturally. As they move and perform tasks, they get even more efficient. So as of right now, 1X is building androids at commercial scale, but the exact growth figures of the company remain unknown. The few customers named highlighted on the company's website were Sunus Hospital and Everon, which deployed about 250 androids for night guarding in their commercial buildings. The robots are able to move around autonomously, but a human can jump in instantly through remote operations to take over for the robot, assess the situation, and manually execute whatever tasks may be needed to get done. Is this OpenAI's answer to the robots developed by Google DeepMind and Tesla, among many others? Will this become the de facto OpenAI robot? Time will tell, but here's a full clip of Sam Altman talking with Bill Gates about robotics and why he's finally seeing exciting things being built in the robotics space. 
one aspect uh, of AI is, is robotics or blue collar jobs when you get you know sort of hands and feet yeah. uh, that are at human level capability and you know the incredible chat GPT breakthrough has kind of gotten us focused on the white collar yeah. thing which is super appropriate but I do worry people are losing the focus on the blue collar piece so how do you see robotics super excited for that we started robots too early um, and so we had to put that project on hold. It was hard for the wrong reasons. It wasn't helping us make progress with the difficult parts of the ML research. And, you know, we were like dealing with bad simulators and breaking tendons and things like that. And also we realized more and more over time that what we really first needed was intelligence and cognition. And then we could figure out how to adapt it to physicality. And it was easier to start with that with the way we've built these language models. But we have always planned to come back to it. We've started investing a little bit in robotics companies. I think on the physical hardware side, there's finally, for the first time that I've ever seen, really exciting new platforms being built there. And at some point, we will be able to use our models, as you were saying, with their language understanding and future video understanding to say, all right, like, let's do amazing things with a, with a robot. But if the hardware guys, you know, who've done a good job on legs actually get the arms, hands, fingers piece and then we couple it, you know, and it's not ridiculously expensive, that could change the job market for a lot of the, the blue collar type work pretty rapidly. Yeah. Certainly the, the prediction, like the consensus prediction, if we rewind seven or 10 years was that the impact was going to be blue collar work first, white collar work second, creativity, maybe never, but certainly last because that was magic and human. Obviously it's gone exactly the other direction. And I think there's like a lot of interesting takeaways about why that happened. You know, creative work, actually, the hallucinations of the, the GPT models is a, is a feature, not a bug. It lets you <laughs> discover some new things. Whereas if you're, you know, having a robot move heavy machinery around, you better be really precise with that.